Yeah, I talked about this a couple days ago. So I, when I watched the speed stream, I got to see most of it as it unfolded. It was so wild. So speed recently did an entire stream dedicated to shilling a crypto called Paradox Metaverse. It's embarrassing. It's a, the whole stream was a disaster. So it started with a PS5 giveaway. So you see all the PS5s behind them. And the whole, th whole thing with the giveaway is, you know, give it to the chat. Thanks for supporting Paradox Metaverse to the moon. And Speed would take out a sledgehammer and break the PS5s. Which I think is terrible. I think it's a fat L. I already talked about that. But the crypto itself is <laughs> so bad. The creators even got interviewed by CoffeeZilla on stream. And they made themselves look so stupid. So unbelievably stupid. I couldn't believe they even accepted the interview. They were unprepared. They damn near confessed to it all just being a scam to begin with. It was baffling. Absolute nonsense. And I sent all of it... Well, back backtrack a bit. I sent it all to CoffeeZilla right before... Like uh, going live, so a couple hours before, and CoffeeZilla started researching it, and he made this video. He did the interview. It has been so entertaining to see. So now I'm excited to watch the video. I I did see that he shouted me out in the comments here for tipping him off, and I I got butterflies in my stomach. To be to something like this before CoffeeZilla is crazy. So happy to help. I also did a ton of research on it. I went deep into the weeds. One of the people behind the crypto scam is a YouTuber named Money Kicks, whose dad is worth like 2.1 billion. So I mean, it, it has so many layers. It's such an interesting little rabbit hole. Is the streamer I show speed, and he's about to accidentally expose the scam he's been paid to promote. Not mm. only that, I actually ended up confronting the people behind all of this, and it didn't exactly go well. Advertising 10X to 100X, is that a get rich quick scheme? Yes or no? No. no. He did them so much credit there because talking to them was like hitting your head against a wall. So he'd ask them a point blank question and they do the standard circular talk around it forever. And no matter how many times coffee would be like yes or no, they'd still just go into their spiel about shit that is completely irrelevant to whatever they're saying. It was frustrating, but still overall entertaining. We're going to get to all of this, but first, let's start at the beginning. <coughs> so it started as a live stream to meet Cristiano Ronaldo and give away PS5s, quickly turned into a nightmare after Thanks fans realized Coco the meetup and John was fake and, and was being used to promote a scam. So, I looked into this a little bit. This guy has made an entire career off looking like Cristiano Ronaldo. So, he was in another YouTuber's video from a few years back called the Cristiano Ronaldo prank. And they just walked him around with security and got people's reactions. So this guy, he doesn't play soccer or anything like that. He just goes and promotes things that they want someone that looks like Ronaldo to do. I don't know the legality of using an impersonator and playing it off like it's the real guy to promote your, your shit coin. I, I don't know how that's legal. Probably isn't, but it's a bold move regardless. So they had him here. And they try and play it straight like this is Ronaldo. And you have to keep in mind Speed's audience, most of them lean on the very young side. So they might not know that. So they'll see this is Ronaldo. They'll see Speed freaking out doing his patented yelling and screaming and breaking things. And they'll be like, oh my god, Ronaldo is saying buy Paradox Crypto. Dad, dad, we, we need to get your credit card, quick. S Ronaldo and Speed are saying this is the next thing to the moon, quick. So it, it's a, it was a huge disaster. A buy Paradox Crypto Coin t shirt. And it quickly got worse. The live chat started calling Paradox Coin a scam in the middle of this sponsored stream and called I Show Speed a sellout, which caused him to get very angry. You sold out. They're using you, Speed. This is just bad. Aww. That is crazy, bro. Like, them comments like that, bro, is making me like, that's crazy, bro. The fact that I ever made. Like, the fact that y'all like, like y'all just sticking me like that is just crazy. I hate that, bro. Y'all so weird, bro. It's crazy. He also tried to guilt trip the fans because there was a lot of donos coming through like that that were like, this is a scam speed. You have to know this is a scam. And be like, what? 
Why are you guys saying that? You're hurting my feelings. The fact you think of me like that makes me really upset. And you know I would never do that to you guys. It's just, you're making me really sad right now. Just guilt tripping them. He's like, I just want to see W's in the chat. No more L's. No more of that. Just W's in the chat. Only mods. Only W's. It was, it was fucking embarrassing. Shameless. Now, yeah, it is important to remember, Speed himself is a kid. He is 17, and people keep using that as an excuse. And I think to some level, that's fine, because he should have people around him that are able to sniff out scams like this. But Speed also clearly knew what he was doing. The audio in here that leaked because he didn't mute all of the mics, so it got picked up, pretty much confirms that he knew this was kind of shady shit to begin with. He is not 19, he says he's 19, he is 17, he was born in 2005. He is a minor, he is a kid. It is a meme that he says he's 19. We double checked last night, he is born in 2005, he's 17. But his team around him is clearly not actually looking out for him, for allowing him to do shit like this and be used. I mean, just think about it. The target of most crypto scams is gullible people. And who's more gullible than kids and teenagers? So when those people see right through your scam- You know who's more gullible than kids and teenagers is adults who think they're early. I would wager the most gullible people on the planet are like the mid-20s people on the cusp of what they think is new technology or anything that will make them money. I think those are the most gullible people. You see that all the time from the crypto community. Hey, can someone recover my NFTs? I clicked on a link in my emails talking about minting new uh, boof tokens. And now all of a sudden my whole NFT collection's gone. I think I got fished. Any help? Like, you never hear the end of that shit. I think they are much more gullible than kids. 100%. Scam. Thanks to the resub <laughs> grow. Tasty Hess in Maine. And it got so bad that Speed oh. had to mute himself Sandbox to try to figure out how to solve the situation. The only problem is he forgot to fully mute the mic. So what do I do now? To answer that question, how do we know this is a scam in the first place? I think every crypto project should be guilty until proven innocent. If any crypto startup comes around, you should assume it's a scam until they prove otherwise. That is the safest way of navigating the crypto space. 100 fucking percent. But the one thing I really took away from Paradox is that they're not one thing. The Paradox Metaverse is actually seven things, each one possibly dumber than the last. And I'm going to explain them. So first up is the Paradox game, which has yes out of the PS2 era, which made me wonder why they'd be giving away PS5 Fuck, yeah. and trying to make your games look worse by comparison. But it gets even crazier because I spoke to the founders and they called their game triple A quality. And I took issue with it. It's that. pretty close. It is actually, this is up there with like the new Saints Row, Crackdown 3 maybe. Like it's not far off. Also from what I was reading, they used a lot of stock assets. So from, and I don't know this for sure because I'm not familiar with all the stock assets available. But that would mean that they're not even like actually building it ground up or anything like that or even trying. They're just asset flipping like the shit we play on Steam Bad Game Night. I'm not 100% sure on that though. I was just reading about it. You admit, you, you wait, 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 in your understand. own marketing, Compare you describe yourself, wait a second, okay. you describe yourself <laughs> as an indie okay, game, uh, you describe yourself as an indie game, and then you have the audacity to come on my stream and call yourself a AAA game when you describe yourself as an indie game. No, no, I don't want to interrupt you, but just give me- <laughs> You are interrupting me, of course you are. You, you don't call point. yourself an indie game. <laughs> That shit got dank quick. Yeah, that's that's a lot of what happened in the live stream. They just immediately just start flooding like an Xbox Live party chat. Whenever he's trying to like call out something, they immediately just flood. So much. It's like a wall of noise. Game on your YouTube channel and then have the audacity to come on my channel and call yourself AAA. Yes, we are a self-funded indie studio. A UK-based indie gaming studio. Indie studio. So yeah, I'm not buying this triple A. Comments are turned off on that video, by the way. Nothing shows confidence in a project quite like turning off the feedback on the announcement in the trailer. Uh, to earn these Paracoins, you complete missions, which apparently require 
up to eight hours of gameplay to accomplish. Mm. And once you do that, you have to wait 24 hours before starting another mission. Uh, I guess if you do that full time, they estimate you make $500 a week based on four hours a day of playing. Wait, I thought- God, I love that. So the whole thing tries to prey on people like pay, uh, play to earn is the, the term. So you play our game and you earn money. So like, yeah, you'll come in, you'll, you know, invest or whatever, but you're earning money through playing this game and doing our missions with our paracoins. But it's all just worthless nonsense dog shit. It's not real. If you want to understand how this entire staking process works, um, their flowchart- That's a head scratcher. Even more confused. Here it is. And instead of explaining it, I'm going to label all of this Ponzi nonsense. This- well, let's not write it off too quickly. Let me take a peek here at the uh, the old flowchart. Staking process. Para used for pea save. Para distributed. Para used in purchase for the staking protocol. Staking pool, which goes into the initial stake withdrawing from pool and getting rewarded with para coins. And now your stake is complete. Easy. But now staking pool and the funds dip below 50, a conditional mint comes in and then what the fuck? It's all, it's all simple, honestly. Now that like this, the tokenomics here make a lot of, a lot of sense now. I'm glad they spelled it out. So succinctly, maybe, I don't know the right term. Uh, it seems good to me. Is that a get rich quick scheme? Yes or no? No. Why? Because it's easy. <laughs> because it can happen. Okay. It happens okay. every single day of the week in the crypto space. Please get knowledgeable about what happens in the crypto space. So much of the crypto space is a scam! But the 10x to 100x does happen to the creators. They are the one that make the money, not the normal guy. Whoever is farming P save PPs or whatever from Paragon. I'd be shocked if they get a 10x or 100x. Not to skip ahead and spoil things, but here, I want to pull this up. They made a bet here with CoffeeZilla where they said they would change their name to CoffeeZilla if Paradox Meta didn't open to 20 to 30 bucks and it opened to 10 cents. Here. So they didn't even get the full pump and dump. So this is where that bad girl <laughs> kicked off. And here's their bet. I'll make this deal with you right here, right now. I'll make this deal with you right here, right now. Okay. No. If our coin launches and it doesn't <laughs> it do a minimum 20 to 30 or... I will change my name to Coffee. Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't even know what your channel's called. What's the channel called? Uh, dip something like that? I don't know. Coffeezilla, Coffeezilla. 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 I will change my name to Coffeezilla. I'll make this. Unfortunately, he didn't do it. He didn't change his fucking name. I haven't checked today though. Maybe it did hit twenty bucks. Let's take a peek. Let's see. Uh, no, it went down. It's now at nine cents. I can't believe it. What? Man, what? Do people just not see the value? <sighs> Man, I can't believe it didn't go to 20 or $30. Crazy. Criminal, even. Is nobody playing their game at the moment? Uh, it's the goddamn World of Warcraft killer on those battlegrounds. Oh, oh now you got you got you got you got yeah. We got ya! Got ya! We got you, buddy! That's You're a about. Bitcoin hater! You hate crypto! That's why you don't like us! That's why you call us a scam! Because you hate us crypto guys! Repeat what back what I said. Repeat back what I said word for word. I said That's lying on Twitter! That's lying on Twitter! Yo! I don't know what the gotcha was here. That but most uh, anyways, from here it derailed. <laughs> so we're gonna <laughs> get back on topic. I don't remember uh, that they part. They also have Paraswap. <laughs> I watched the whole stream and I didn't see that part. We cannot confirm. We, we cannot confirm. 
no deny whether or not we are in talks to make it happen on our roster on our card now if we finally do get to make that happen we make an amazing official announcement to come with it um if there is a screenshot well, of the actual your, your, your brother you, and partner you is telling it, everyone to share it around you're telling everyone just like say it's true i, I don't know why you're within saying our that. community which within our Nobody's community share around within our community without other members we want to give them so, I, mean, so this I don't know what spread the wor word of Jake and Andrew. Let's get paradox within our every community. Have you a say channel, everywhere. Have a you channel. say everywhere, though. Yeah, everywhere now, in the community. Brother, it's a big community. It's got to reach every website they list, nook and cranny of Talio it. Talio and Fossil Tariq, who both seem pretty obscure. I think Amio like sells a goofy university or something, which just takes 10 seconds of research to realize is a waste of money. This is the only way to get rich in 2022 without starting up a business from scratch. For every person uh. that you refer to Amio Talio University, you get 15 pounds. Now I confronted- God, I hate that so fucking much. That <laughs> it's one of my biggest gripes, those f guru programs. And people, for some reason, buy in and then fight tooth and nail for them. You just train your own little warriors, your own little cult. Ugh. ...to them about this claim, and here's what they said. Okay. Is an affiliate program wrong? Where a person has commission for sales. No, I think saying that this is the only way you're going to get rich is wrong. People don't get rich on affiliate programs? No, people don't not, make a living on affiliate No! Only, you say, I found the only way to get rich. But also, no. I would be so curious... If there is anyone that has ever got rich from affiliate programs, I I would be shocked. Like, uh, not, obviously, at the top level, affiliate programs are great for the gurus. They make millions. I'm talking like a normal, just random person. Uh, yes, I am a career affiliate promoter. Uh, I bring people to this goober's university for money. And now I own five Ferraris in this garage. And my favorite moment with Money Kicks is just when he tries to relate to somebody who's explaining how he grew up poor and eventually became rich. We grew up very humble in the sense where my dad was a taxi driver, worked all his life, and alhamdulillah, we started doing a bit of business. <laughs> we've done alhamdulillah, we've done all right. Very good. Now we're just celebrating life in the sense you know, where... Life is step by step, you know, thank 100%, God. 100%, 100%. Wait, how's Money Kicks talking about life yeah, is step by step? You don't step? understand, What was coffee. your step one? Being the son of a billionaire? What? You what don't get it. You just two? don't get like, it. Like at that point. Are you, is he just talking to people like, hey, have you tried step one yet? Now, uh, this is the whole crew. Basically. Yeah, he was just, again, born rich. Dad's a billionaire. It, yeah, the video he's showing is this one as well. So Money Kicks posted this right before the speed stream. Oh my god, he took it down. <laughs> okay. Unlucky. I okay. I guess I should have saved it. It was spending a day with a crypto billionaire, and I show speed. That was the clip that he got it from. But it, yeah, it was it was a rough video. It was a rough. Now that you understand what paradox is, it's time to go back to I show speed, trying to keep his chat from figuring out what's going on. All right, all right, so look, it's cool now. Relax, relax. Yo, no, 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 relax. All right, why was it the chat? You see no more fucking scam. The mic is on. I know, I know, I know. I'm just trying to make it. Uh, yeah, no, no, bro, you know what I'm doing, bro. Oof. Oof. I'm not gonna say that, but then it's gonna be obvious, bro. Yeah, I think it's a little too late for that. The only way to make this more obvious is if he changed his name to I Show Scams. Now, I do have an update here because the Prime Speed boy. has responded Steve. saying he's not a scammer and regrets his mistake. Stop spamming. I'm not a scammer, bro. Why do you keep spamming? Bro, I'm not a scammer, dog. I made a little mistake, you know, that I wish I never did, but I'm not a scammer, bro. Now, what exactly you make of this is up to you. I think he's pretty young, like 17 years old. I think hopefully he's going to learn from this and is going to learn that you don't have to sell out your audience for money. Um, as for the Paradox founders, I think they're still baffled that anyone's mad at them at all because they think there's no reason to apologize at all. <clears throat> According to them, the claims of L scam in this chat were bots. Were bots anyway. Yes. That's what it is. That's what you call bot. It. That's what you call bot. A it. human can bot. A computer can bot. A bot can bot. Can wait, bot wait, wait, wait. So y'all are saying humans can bot now? So yeah, this whole thing went on for hours 
And uh, I'll link the full VOD below confronting them. If you're bored, you can give it a watch. It's pretty funny. Anyways, that's basically it. God, it's it was such a wild situation, man. Like I said, I got to watch a lot of that in real time as it unfolded. It was something special. Now, at the very least, Speed apologized in the very next stream and looks like he cut ties with everything. So, this was pre-sale. They didn't go live on that day, I don't think. I think they went live yesterday. So, hopefully, no one in his audience lost any money on it. But what an absolutely reputational nuke he took there. Fucking bit a fat L, unfortunately. No one decided to do any level of thinking about that partnership there. But yeah, this Ronaldo impersonator moment was so special. It was so fucking good. Oh, did he not show the clip? Oh, I thought I sh I thought he showed the clip when he came in. Whatever. Well, they bring in the Ronaldo impersonator, play it off like the real Ronaldo, so they hyped it up for a long time. They're like, if we get enough Paradox Metaverse to the moon in the chat, we'll bring out something special. Go follow the Twitter, go follow the Twitter, here's the Twitter, go follow it. And they got 2,000 followers. They're like, oh, fuck, that just unlocked it. Turn around, Speed, close your eyes. We got a special surprise for you. Guess in the chat who it's going to be. And then Paradox Metaverse to the moon. And they bring out fake Ronaldo. They bring out Chris Orlando here. And they all play it off like it's the real Ronaldo. And almost immediately in the chat, people are like, what the fuck? That's not Ronaldo. But they kept trying to, like, really drive it home. Like, this is Ronaldo, and he loves Paradox Crypto. Which is very shady. Like, if they made it more on the nose, like, this is a fake Ronaldo and it's a skit, this is a joke. It wouldn't have been, like tasteless or bad but they really tried to make it seem authentic like it's the real deal and i already know with his audience being young for the most part a lot of them truly believed ronaldo was a paradox enthusiast which i think is rough they they just they just got fucked up it was quite an obvious joke not to everybody though if you, in fact, if you go on Twitter right now, Speed posted a picture with the impersonator. There are still so many of his fans that think he met the real Ronaldo and they were reflecting on this stream. And like, it was great to see Ronaldo socialize with you like that. And he knows who you are because he did one of Speed's things. They're like, holy shit, Ronaldo actually knows who you are. So there are a lot of them that really believed it was the real deal. They were trolling. You like to think that, but I, I just don't believe it. You have to remember, a lot of his audience is kids as well. Didn't they also full speed? No, I, I, that, that I don't believe at all. A hundred percent, I don't believe speed truly thought that was Ronaldo or anything. This was all a very much pre-established circuit here. Was it actually meant as a joke, though? That I don't know. Because they really do go out of their way to sell it as real. Like, they did everything they could to make it seem like, that's him. That's him. Why did he destroy the PS5s? He thought it'd be comedic? I don't know. Uh, that that was bad. Like, even before all the crypto shit started, they led with the PS5 stuff and he was breaking it and immediately turned chat against him. I don't know why you'd ever do that. I hate that shit. That was a trend back in, like, 2009 or whatever, whenever the PS3 came out. Going to GameStop, midnight release for PS3 and breaking it. And it was always so fucking douchey. And it is still douchey to this day. Nope, the boxes weren't empty. He takes the full PS5 out and hits it with a sledgehammer. He did that for two of them. Maybe more. I I think it was two or three. Two for sure, I remember. But it might have been more. Why? I Again, I don't know, man. I he, They must have thought that it was a good joke. 
I don't watch a ton of speed streams, I'll be the first to admit. I am familiar with them to some level, but it's just not my cup of tea. I'm not, I'm sure most of you know, I'm not really big into the, like, the really loud equals entertaining stuff. And that's mainly his brand, so it's just not for me. So I don't know what the breaking PS5s was for. Maybe because it makes a loud noise or it's destructive, shocking. I don't know. Is there some punk and grid and baby? The fake Ronaldo came out on TikTok and said they specifically asked him not to say a word or they wouldn't pay him. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, hold on. Let me pull up a clip. I actually believe that. Because I thought for a little bit he just didn't speak English because of this moment right here. I watched this happen live. Let me... Hold on. I also saw that clip got posted at LSF. Let me pull it up real quick. It is such a great moment. This is an iconic moment in, in scamming. Where is it? Oh, come on, where'd it go? It was on LSF like two days ago. Just give me a second. <clears throat> Holy shit. How many worthless clips make it onto LSF? What the fuck? Like, these titles are just nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh my god. How far do I have to scroll? It's only been two days. Things that prime math man, spicy and Venus, caboose and booty ass. Okay, let me try searching for it. Then this is I clearly underestimated how many clips get posted here every day. Is this it? Oh my god, the clip is deleted. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. Let me just go to the actual stream itself and see if I can this find it. This is the streamer I sh <sighs> What channel do his streams end up on? And here we go. Yo, 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 yo! Who will we see as Who we should choose? Amil? What is going on? Audio in one ear? Let's Yo, see if someone I'm, is from Dubai. I'm not gonna lie, I'm about to just plug in my mic real quick. Here, keep playing. I'm a little slow. But look, y'all. We got my man Twitch side here. You feel what I'm saying, bro? What is going on with the. Everything is out of sync. Yo, 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 yo. What the fuck is going on? Is this on everyone or is this just, is this just me? Is this upload super fucked? Like, what the fuck is going on? This oh, that's right, because he edited it. Ah, oh, because he took out the leaks. Fuck. That might do it, you're right. That's right. Oh, true, that might have fucked the whole thing up. I really want to find the clip. There's a, a moment there where Speed tries to, like, say something to Ronaldo. Uh, <laughs> Rolando. And he just looks at him and he's just sitting there with a smile and then he just starts licking his lips. He's like, mm. and says nothing. So I absolutely believe your claim that he was instructed not to speak because that shit was so uncomfortable. And I really want to find that fucking clip right now because it is a great clip. So give me a couple more seconds to see if I can maybe find something from it, maybe a re upload.
I don't, I don't know where you find YouTube clip re-uploads, man. What the fuck? This is so frustrating. LSF puts a mirror in the top comments. <clears throat> they didn't for that one. Let me check again. There's the prime cow and the resub Zyphony in random. Yeah, I don't see a mirror here. I'm still scrolling down and don't see a mirror. This shit, damn. Let me see. Is that it? God, I, I wish I didn't fucking open that. This isn't the part I was talking about. But yeah, this is pretty standard shit. That's, this isn't what I was like, talking what about. Are you, like, what are you? Like, are you like Ronaldo brother? Like, chat, who is this guy? Oh, I didn't even, wait. I don't even remember them addressing that in the stream. Who are you? Chat, who is this guy? Hype. Cool clip. Not the one I was talking about. It was later. <clears throat> he licks his lips though. I'm guessing he does it a lot. I, I must have misremembered a lot then, because I don't even remember them confronting him about who is this guy. Maybe I focused too much on all of the awkward shit and blacked out the other stuff. I don't know. But yeah, I don't I don't even remember this part happening. And like I said, I got to tune into a lot of this in real time. There's a prime kitten. Things of the resub muffin. And the resub fuzzy and Abby in phony. Yep, that's that whole situation. Pretty wacky stuff. <laughs> Things of Prime, Jamie. I saw this fake Ronaldo in a slip and slide football video. Yeah, he's been in a lot. Like I said, he made a whole career out of looking like Ronaldo.